Tan 3 TV, where today we're jumping into an interview with a vampire. Season 1, episode 4. Ooh, I like that. So we're going to be jumping right into this episode. I am super excited. The last episode, um, go, um, listen, I'm not going to say these people's names no more because apparently I'm saying the names wrong. I don't know how, why I'm saying the names wrong. I hear it throughout the whole damn episode and I still can't say it. It's Lestat, right? Lestat. Show. Um, so anyways, it's gonna be L and L. Um, because I just don't know what's wrong with me. I promise you, eventually I'll get it together. Maybe on episode episode seven, I'll finally get to say their names correctly. Oops. Um, but so far I've loved this show. This show is giving me what I love with a little bit of horror, a little bit of like, you know, gay, toxic relationships um, that we all go through. Um, so I'm just ready to jump right into this episode, y'all. Somebody did ask me a question on the last reaction. Did I see Queen of the Damned? I actually did see Queen of the Damned, the one with Aaliyah. I did not know that Queen of the Damned was part of this world. I also do not know or slash remember Lestat or whatever these people's name L and L being in that movie, but I also didn't really like that movie. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I didn't really like Queen of the Damned. The only thing I liked about it was Aaliyah, and I love Aaliyah like all the way down. Like Aaliyah is was my favorite artist in the whole entire world. And um, so I watched it because of her. But do I, I don't remember that movie. I just remember Aaliyah walking like this. <laughs> um, besides that, like, I don't remember anything. Cause I don't think I was, I don't, I know I didn't, it wasn't like a film I wanted to watch more than once. So um, if this has something to do with that world, I hope that they somehow bring that into this version and kind of re, uh, bring it back to life because that movie had potential i just didn't like the acting so there is that so i'm ready to jump into this episode guys like always it's going to be a full reaction from my second third tier here on the youtube platform as well as the other platform patreon so guys please sign into one of those platforms and help support the channel today now i'm a reactor it's time to react to things with that being said let's jump into interview with a vampire and find out exactly what these vampires has got to give dubai i like dubai can't tell you that either I mean, we can do a chapter in vanity fair but i, I know it's in 10 years this is a book is he a vampire? I hope you've passed a comfortable night. Scheduled to have your levodopa transfusion this week. Been tapping my phone? Take care of it on Your my doctor own. in New York was consulted and has given consent. Where's Louis? Mr. Uh, Dupont du Lac will be resting today. Quite the house plan. The interior designer hired was a sentimentalist. You are getting access to very precious items from the archives. We suggest you begin on the left. Well, thank you, sir. 1945. POWs are malnourished. Nothing but bone and sinew. Most makes you feel sick to drink it. Auntie told me to stay put and keep away from the door. Auntie came back. She got stuck on the other side and brought the fire back with her. Just prayed it wouldn't hurt too bad. Oh, is this Claudia? <laughs> it's when the black angel came. Carried me like I was made of feathers. Help me! Give me some water! Black Angel took me to a fine house with cold ceilings like the ones in the picture houses. Black Angel was crying. She's cold. What do we do? And then I saw the white angel. Drain her. She's only a kid. I don't know where to bite. Her body's all charred. You know you can do this! A daughter. You were ready to a abandon daughter. our home. Now you want a third. White angel, he bit me. Strange thing for an angel to do. Ah. And then I tasted it. And right away I felt strong as a streetcar. What I thought were angels were really hell demons. I decided to make the best of it. You got some of your own, I can have. So this my new house? Is if you want it to be. What is that? That's the incinerator. 
where we burn them. We'll get to that soon enough. Ah! We can hear people's thoughts. What? What am I thinking now? Well, I can't. I'm your maker. It's a special trick only folks like us have. Like the nails and the teeth. What's funny? <laughs> if he makes you, he can't hear your thoughts anymore. He make you too? He did. What's she saying? He has to rely on my words to understand me. You're a vampire. Mm -hmm. I can see where this is going. <gasps> How'd you do that? We're a family? Yeah. But with no secrets. That's where we burn bodies. Why do we burn bodies? We have nice clothes and a nice auto carriage and a funny way of being nice to each other. So I'm supposed to kill him? You don't have to. You can endeavor on an experience that feels like eating syrup while riding on the wind. I'm not sure how I feel about that pleated skirt. It's chiffon. It has movement. Mm. <laughs> Looks like she takes after me. Tremendous. Back in the car, Claudia. Claudia! 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 Young girl? Where are your parents at this hour? I said, where are your parents? Who was it that she takes after? You ain't a girl. You a devil. Guilt, a bad taste in your mouth from the cop, which again, you should never choose. I'm sorry. What did I just say? Don't eat cops. Who did this? Is? I'm hungry. Hungry? You just ate a man twice your size. I'm so hungry. I think I'm on die. More tomorrow, okay? Please. Stronics. <laughs> Claudia! Claudia! Mm. Things I used to eat, I don't like so much anymore. Claudia! Me and Uncle Les have a nickname for it. Kill Juice. Claudia! Mm, come in! Jeez Louise, Melissa, please! See my slippers under the chair by the window. That's every night end like this. The sun comes up, we go down. That's never gonna change. We got rules, little miss. She took to the book again. Why do you talk to the book? The book is my friend. The book is her friend. Put the pen down, Claudia. You may me, and you may Louis. Who may you? Be curious. Uh-oh, they speak in French. They gonna fight now. It sounds funny in French. Tu as oublié ta jeunesse. Oui. Bonne nuit. Get up hard condition. And she gonna pass real, real soon. We trying to accustom her to that. thought of going home to God. The name right here. Can I get this uh, one, please? You, please, can I? <laughs> my vampire needs her own space if she's gonna find herself in this no day world. It's just me, my pen, my brain, my heart, and the blood of the streetcar conductor I drained after he got off work. I hope they got more of you at your company to fill in for you. <laughs> Uncle Les got secrets. How you figure? He don't give good answers to questions. Sits on the truth like it's his chair or something. Sometimes. Old people don't like talking much about the past. How does it work? Love between two men. Well, starts with. <laughs> I don't know. Works like love. You ever let go? Can't say I do anymore. Uncle Les does sometimes. Sometimes his kills get extravagant. Uh, and I don't like seeing it. I don't know how you do that. You can't like the taste. <laughs> I try to. You can kill quick and painless, or you can get extravagant. Some killing has a consequence. Mm. Caught up in human affairs. Then you. Where is she now? Oh, he's praying. I thought Louis was your god. How does Muhammad feel about vampires? How is your reading coming along? For a killing machine, I kind of like her. I interrupted. You were praying. Asr Namozi. You're not from Dubai. I thought you were a native. Dubai's a child, Mr. Malloy. No one's a native. Claudia. So she's the daughter of those two. A new diary. Nice to meet you. My own room now. Which is good, because Daddy Lou can be smothering just as Uncle Les can get crotchety. You have to knock us! Out! 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 It's 
Still, you wouldn't believe how time flies when there's people to eat and money to spend. It was given to me by a marquee who was beheaded by a mob ten years after he gave it to me. How old are you again, Uncle Liz? 160. 159. Hey, Lou, what am I gonna grow into this, though? We'll find one of you, sir. Both daddy and uncle have problems. <laughs> Plenty of them. But they figure them out quick most time. We fight. We eat. <laughs> we laugh up. <laughs> And then the phone rang last night, and all the easy times stopped. His mom died? I didn't know he had a mama till he lost her. Never seen a dead one look so peaceful. Who are you here with, honey? My dad and uncle. Who are you? How about you go to your uncle? He could use someone to talk to. Think you and her uncle are the right people to adopt an orphan? I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to, to make it. Heard that plenty. About yourself, lady. We need to talk about the house. Over the cold body of our mama. I'm wondering why I got an invite this time. You don't need it. When your white daddy doing fine in the quarter. But can't pay you what it's worth and you don't need the money. You forget what I did to that door, Grace? It's late for you. The smell is awful. Mm. Wakes were invented in places where it snows. And the paper's drawn up. Mm. They didn't know how to behave right anymore. But Uncle Les said I behave just fine. There ain't no doubt Daddy Lou is my favorite. Hello. But sometimes Hello. Uncle Les and I have a lot in common. This is what the meat calls a lover's lane. Young people swollen with passion. How one plus one. Been too sheltered, my belladonic beauty. Yours? Mine. Young. Strong. You must be most ferocious. Hmm? Did you just crawl out of the swamp or something? <laughs> She's with me. Les says I gotta practice killing both the one and the plus one at the same time. To just kill her while you want to limit her is beyond comprehension. I've been 18 for seven months now. Time I started acting like it. I recall buying that outfit. Jumped a girl in between speakeasies. I wear better though. I'm on tell Uncle Les you're talking to me this way. Gosh, she's out of control. Don't hear this. It's adorable. <laughs> Look who fell into her mama's closet. Marky playing dress up in the dark. <laughs> you look a little sick there. That's sorry about my horse, man. I'm so scared I almost fainted. I thought the flowers might bring me back a bit. Diary. His name is Charlie. I just want to say thank you for driving me home. 32 room, oh yeah. Drive by that house. Almost seven night, taking Mr. Sloan home. Huh? Well, I know how tight he holds you when he dances. No, I can take care of myself. He almost got trampled by a horse. Stuck in the coffin, waiting for the big hand to hit nine. Don't <laughs> in the house. What did we say about skipping? Not gonna say it again, Missy. If he looks up next year, if he doesn't. No running, young lady. <laughs> I finally got a few secrets of my own. Who's Charlie? This is your father speaking. <laughs> I, I love it. I'm just trying to make it last. Is this what you always do for a first thing? Take girl out for some ice cream. Mm. Boy sends flowers. Has to go to go somewhere fun. I'm 19. No way you open to me, Claudia. Everyone in my family looks young for the age. Remember there used to be a toy shop a few doors down by there? That shop must have closed down when you were but a baby. I wasn't a baby. You gotta kill him. What? Does it make me kiss you a little longer? Claudia, you don't even look like a girl. You're an angel. You gotta kill him. She killed him by accident. It's easy to get carried away when you're young and in love. Please save him. Turn him. You did it to me. You didn't have to kill him. You killed him completely. Let's start. You drained him dry. Now go on. Clean up after yourself. Remember this? His face is it melts. This is why we never get close to mortals. We all right, it'll pass. You got us. I don't want you. Vivid writer, isn't she? 
Mm. A singular style. Lee de Pont de Lac and the child vampire Claudia. Where were all these diaries in 1973? Scattered. One in New Orleans, another in Paris. Claudia was everything. I loved her unconditionally. The simple joy of her hand in mine. You had a daughter. And learn in detail how and when you failed them. Did you share those failures with a brash young reporter you met at Polynesian Mary? Have you reached? 1923-ish. Her date with Charlie. Bones. Cracked black and his face turned to soup. The oh-so-delicate balance of our oh-so-delicate household was shattered. Claudia was a band-aid for a shitty marriage. I was going to say something else, but yes. That's almost certainly what she felt like. What should I have done? Tucked him into the coffin with her. You burn her first boyfriend. She's the one who killed him. Who died in a fire, but came back by the blood magic of two demons. I told you, dumb diary, that that same girl was being raised to kill like her demon parent. Kayla's crotch, 14-year-old baby doll body. I'm dumb diary. I bet you say to anyone who listens, fun. A cup, flower covered, three dollar fancy fucking paper diary. First man I killed called me the devil. And the last boy I killed called me an angel. That means I'm on the right path. Well, well, why am I getting emotional? <laughs> this is such a good show. Oh, my emotions are carrying over. Following this character, seeing how she, the character was born, seeing her with the, the father, and just, I wish that we had more episodes where it was Louise, Lestat, and um, Claudia together, the three of them, like happy going around killing people. That warms my heart. Um, it was really good, but obviously all good things comes to an end um so this was a 10 out of 10 this episode this was the best episode thus far of this whole show that i've seen this new edition of this new character claudia she's just just an energizing character brings it to life brings the humor brings the fun brings the madness brings the joy brings the fear brings the murder brings death brings love brings hate Ooh, all these emotions i like that um and now we're gonna obviously see what else is going to happen overall like when i first started this episode i was like oh short episode and then when they said that Lest uh, louise wasn't gonna be around i was like um so i'm gonna be bored but oh like this the by far i would i can't wait to edit this to watch it again and by the ending of this episode watching her doing what she did just burning burning herself because she's just so angry and you know sad and you know she's just like i can't imagine okay so one monster if i could be anything would be a vampire um and i'm so serious i would be i would be eating new york city apart um <laughs> You know, I wouldn't even care. But then I would see the other, the downside. Like, you live for eternity. You, like, everybody dies around you. You know what I mean? You're always going to be here. But, I mean, I also would just probably produce a family like this. But then you never know how they're going to react when they turn. So, I'm like, oop. And what I'm dreading is learning what happened to both of these characters that I'm actually gonna tell you I really like. I like both of them. I loved the three of them together. I love these other two characters so much that I'm so, so scared to see what is going to happen to these characters that they're no longer around. I don't wanna see it. And I, what are, what, how many episodes are there? This is the fourth episode and there are seven. So, child, of Jesus. We literally have three more episodes to go and I'm pretty sure that 
it's gonna be dreadful. Um, in a good way, obviously. So once again, this is a 10 out of 10, and I really can't wait for more of this journey. With that being said, if you've seen this reaction and realize you are not subscribed, hit subscribe and also please like and share this content because it is words for this channel. And I'll see you next time on Andres El Rey.